Everything I do has already been done. No matter what I make, I'll get called a copy. Unless I go back to the one thing no one else really does. Make your videos about items! You know, I'd make a joke about how I haven't made an item video in a long time, but I did that in my Zerat Portal video. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. I'll use recycling. You know, save the earth and stuff. Gargoyle stone plate. It's an okay item. Uh, uh, I haven't done one of these item videos in a while. Hey, hey Magikarp, he's fly. What do you think of Gargoyle's stone plate? All right, now that I've wasted enough time to make this video longer, it's time to talk about a popular meta tank item that's really useful right now, but will probably get nerfed sometime in the future. But Dusk Blade and Lethality are still broken. Gargoyle's stone plate is a fairly new tank item in League of Legends that benefits the types of champions that enjoy running face first into the enemy team and absorbing damage over dealing damage themselves. It costs 2,500 gold and gives base stats of 40 magic resist and 40 armor. You don't just buy stone plate for the base stats though, this item really shines because of its passive and active. The passive is called Stone Skin, which is not to be confused with the Hearthstone card, Stone Skin Gargoyle. Shout out to the two people who still play Hearthstone. Ooh, Hearthstone. If three or more enemy champions are nearby, Stone Skin grants an extra 40 armor and 40 magic resist, allowing the user to survive longer during team fights. You know what they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah, I guess that saying works. Probably even more important than the passive is this item's active, Metallicize. Wait, no, hold on. Metallicize. Metallicize. There we go. When activated, Gargoyle's Stone Plate increases your current and maximum health by 40% while decreasing your damage dealt by 60% for 4 seconds. Make sure you use this item when you have a lot of health left, as although it increases your maximum health, the important part is that it increases your current health. So if you're at 10 HP and you activate Stone Plate, you'd, you'd be an idiot. In addition to increasing your HP and reducing your damage, Gargoyle Stone Plate also increases your champion's size for the duration of the active. Wow! Let me hit you with the infomercial bonus, because wait, there's more. If you activate Stone Plate while Stone Skin is active, your health gets increased by 100% instead of 40. You know what they say, kids in the back seat cause accidents, and accidents in the back seat cause kids. Wait, ho hold on, who changed my script? You're a big boy. <laughs> I'm a big, big boy. I'll hide under you. <laughs> yeah. Look, they can't kill either. I pretend that we oh. should leave. We should. Oh, that's him. He didn't see me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he I didn't open. I, 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 I was under you. Along with its tanky stats and active, Stone Plate also has great synergy with Locket. Because Locket's shield gains extra percentage based on the caster's bonus health, activating Stone Plate immediately before using Locket during a team fight gives your team a shield bigger than this banana. That's that's a big banana. Who do you build Stone Plate on? You build Stone Plate on tanks, you dingus. Build it on Galio. Double Gargoyle. Build it on Rakan. I'm gonna live forever. Build it on Bard. Mega Bard. Build it on Cho'Gath. Dude, that old's fucking busted. Build it on whatever fucking tank you want, it'll still be good.